Good morning and welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the northern mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. This morning high pressure is pretty much in control throughout the entire northern mid-Atlantic with light winds, clear skies, and excellent temperatures for this time of year. We're going to be pretty much around near normal with temperatures in the lower to mid-70s. As you move down towards Philadelphia, you're more likely to see 74, 75 rather than up towards New York City, where you'll be most likely around 72 degrees. Overall, though, not a bad day whatsoever. However, there is trouble off to the west as a cold front begins to organize and some much hotter conditions are on the way. Let's take a look at the forecast. This is the European model guidance. These maps are from Penn State EWA, an excellent uh, weather website uh, for any type of meteorological data from Penn State. Now. For by, by Thursday evening, what you notice is that there's a nice large ridge at 500 millibars, the map on the left, uh, with very warm southwesterly winds, and we have high pressure off the coast that is producing southwesterly winds at the surface. All of that means one very important thing. It is going to get warm, well above normal for this time of year. Uh, for Wednesday afternoon, starting on Wednesday afternoon, we'll start to see a little bit more of an increase. Temperatures in the upper 70s, possibly hitting 80 and then Thursday and Friday is going to get very warm with temperatures pushing into the mid to upper 80s. That's right, summer-like conditions return once again, and it's all because our negative NAO pattern, that big upper level low over Canada, is shifting to the west. And as a result, you get a pattern where a ridge is able to build over the east coast and you get very warm conditions. However, the hot conditions are not going to last very long. By Saturday evening, a cold front is going to move through and significantly knock down temperatures. Now, Saturday afternoon, look for a few sky showers and thunderstorms. Uh, the cold front is going to move in the evening, so even Saturday afternoon is going to remain really warm with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. So if you have any outdoor activities, you know, you go outside, have fun, but watch out for a few showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Notice that trough over the Great Lakes. It's a very important trough. It's actually going to start to cut off as we look at the at Sunday and Monday. We can see by Sunday afternoon our upper level low starts to cut off. Now I am a bit skeptical on how the model guidance, whether it's the European model guidance, GFS, or Canadian, is producing this pattern. And the reason why is because overall we have a very progressive, fast-moving pattern. Uh, notice at uh, 500 millibars, map to the left again over Canada how the height lines are moving from west to east very quickly. That means you have a zonal pattern. Now this disturbance is supposed to cut off, intensify, so it's kind of like a pocket of cold air that's going to drop down into the mid-Atlantic and produce another area low pressure along the coast. That area low pressure that's going to be off the uh, Virginia coast, developing off the Virginia coast, is going to interact with a high pressure system that's over the Canadian Maritimes and produce a strong easterly wind along the coast on Sunday and Monday. That means it's going to be pretty raw and cool with showers and uh, periods of moderate to heavy rain if this pattern sets up. The reason why, again, I'm a little bit skeptical is that I think that this disturbance may not be able to hang around as long as the model guidance is suggesting right now. But there is a strong model uh, consensus, so we'll go along with it for now. But I, I'm just putting out the caveat that uh, this whole low pressure system might actually move a lot faster than what the model guidance is showing. And so here we are on Monday. Notice that the upper level low just doesn't move. Now our kicker, it's kind of like soccer here, is going to kick this storm out uh, into the Atlantic. When that kicker is diving down into the Great Lakes. It's going to pick this uh, low pressure system up, force it out, and uh, the rain should be exiting Monday night into Tuesday morning. But again, the whole idea here is that this upper level low is even able to cut off in the first place. If it does, then this is what's going to happen because the whole polar jet stream shifting north. So while everyone else in the United States bakes because all the polar air is stuck up in Canada, the northern Atlantic, that's Philadelphia and New York City, by the way, and even Boston is going to remain relatively cool because we're going to be under the influence of the Atlantic and cloud cover and rain is just going to be raw and ugly for Sunday, Monday, and possibly into Tuesday. So I'll keep an eye on this uh, developing storm situation for uh, Sunday and Monday. Uh, thank you for trusting in NYNJPA weather as your weather source for the northern Mid Atlantic. 
I'm meteorologist Stephen D. Martino. Have an excellent day out there.